Hi class, welcome back to our channel. For this video, I will show you how to solve for the measures of variability for ungrouped data. So measures of dispersion or variability refer to the spread of the values about the mean. So ang difference nito guys, doon sa ating measures of um, central tendency, Si central tendency, ang measure niya is yung center ng ating data. Okay? While the measures of variability, ang measure nito is kung gaano ka-spread yung ating data. Okay? So, these are the important quantities used by a statistician in evaluation. Number one, we have the range. So, range is the simplest measure of variability. Then, to, to find the range, it is the difference between the largest value and the smallest or the lowest value. Okay, so in symbol, uh, that is R equals H minus L, where H is the highest value and L is the lowest value. Okay, next we have the average deviation. It is a measure of variation that makes use of all the scores in a distribution. Then this is more reliable than the range. So to compute the average deviation, we will use this formula. We have AD equals the summation of X minus X bar over N. Okay, where X is the individual score. Yung x bar natin, that is our sample mean. Then, n is the number of scores or the number of data. So, ibig sabihin, bago natin masolve si average deviation, dapat uh, kunin nyo muna yung ating mean. Okay? So, next is we have the variance and standard deviation. So, these are the most practical and commonly used measures of variation. So, kung naratandaan nyo yung topic natin about normal curve, di ba, in a normal curve, guys, ang ginagamit natin doon is yung uh, Z. Tama? Kung tandaan nyo, yung Z-score natin. Then, to get that Z-score or that standard score, ang ginagamit natin is yung standard deviation. Okay? So, standard deviation is the average of how far the scores are from the mean. Okay? So, ang measure ni standard deviation is yung um, average difference natin from the mean. So, to solve for the standard deviation, just get the square root ng ating variance. Okay? Then, standard deviation is the most reliable measures of variability. So, we have two formulas. First, to find the variance, we have um, S square. So, variance is denoted by S square. Is equal to the summation of X minus X bar. Then, square all over N minus 1. Where X is the score or the data. Then, yung X bar natin is the mean. Then, yung ating N, that's the number of data or the number of scores. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, bago natin makuha yung variance, kailangan masolve muna natin si mean. Okay? Then, after natin makuha si variance, guys, to get the standard deviation, just get the square root ng ating uh, variance. Okay? So, in other uh, symbol, that is, standard deviation is equals to the square root of variance. Nakuha, guys? So, let's have example number 1. So, dito guys, uh, pinapakuha sa atin yung range. Then, kung natandaan nyo pa, ang formula natin ng range is highest score or highest value minus the lowest value. Okay, so may given tayo dito. Una, we have, uh, let's say this, A. So, 11, 13, 12, and 15. So, as you can see, ang highest score natin is 15. Then, ang ating lowest score is 11. So, subtract nyo lang yan, guys. So, 15 minus 11. So, therefore, ang range natin is equals to 4. 
Tama? So next, let's have letter B. So this time, ang highest score natin is 91. Then ang lowest score natin, still we have 11. So 91 minus 11, so our range is equals to 80. Nakuha? Next, we have our third example. 46, 51, 51, 56. So obviously, we have 56 as the highest score. Minus the lowest score which is 46. So, ang range natin is equals to 10. Okay? So, last example for range guys. We have 81, 101, 101, and 121. So, this time ang highest score natin is 121. Minus the lowest score which is 81. So, ang range natin ngayon is equals to 40. Nakuha? So, naintindihan ba guys kung paano natin sinosolve si range? So, again, to find the range, just subtract the highest score and the lowest score. Okay? So, next, let's have example number 2. Find the mean deviation of the following data. Okay, so meron tayong mga given scores. We have 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. Tama? So, bago natin guys masolve yung ating mean deviation, kailangan kunin muna natin yung value ng ating mean. Okay, so again, ang first step natin, we need to calculate the mean by using the formula of summation of x over n. Tama? So, ia-add natin lahat ng x natin. We have 12 plus 13 plus 14 plus 15 plus 16 plus 17 then plus 18 then all over n. So, ang n natin we have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Tama? So, since 7 yung data natin, ibig sabihin yung n natin is equals to 7. So, i-add natin yung ating numerator. So, that is equivalent to 105. Okay? Then, divided by 7. So, ang ating mean is equals to 15. Nakuha, guys? So, ngayon, uh, kung babalikan natin or kung i-check natin yung formula ng ating mean deviation, we have uh, mean deviation is equals to the summation of the absolute value of x minus mean over n. Tama? So, ibig sabihin, uh, bago natin ma-apply yung ating formula for mean deviation, kailangan makuha nyo muna yung ating x minus mean. Okay? So, pag sinabi natin absolute value, uh, gagawin lang natin positive yung mga results natin. Okay? So, una, we have 12 minus mean. Ang mean natin is 15. That is negative 3. Then, get the absolute value. So, we have positive 3. Tama? Then, next, we have 13 minus 15. That is negative 2. So, absolute value, we have positive 2. Next, we have 14 minus 15, then that is uh, negative 1, so that is positive 1. 15 minus 15, that is 0. 16 minus 15, we have 1. 17 minus 15, that is 2. Then 18 minus 15, we have 3. Tama? Then, get nyo lang yung total nyan, guys, to get the summation ng ating x minus mean. So, pag in niyan, that is equals to 12. Okay? So, ngayon, pag nakuha na natin yung ating summation of x minus mean, pwede nyo na yan, guys, i-substitute doon sa ating formula. Okay? So, that is, we have 12 over n. So, ang n natin is equals to 7. So, pag dinivide natin ngayon yan, guys, 12 divided by 7 we have 1.71. Then, this will be our mean deviation. Nakuha, guys? 
So next, let's have example number 3. So find the variance and standard deviation of the following data. So ang given natin dito guys is yung ating mga scores. We have 90, 73, 78, 79, 83, 95, 77, 79, 74, and 81. So bago natin guys masolve yung ating variance and standard deviation, Ang una nyong i-compute dyan, guys, is yung ating mean. Okay? So, again, ang formula ng ating mean is summation of x over n. Okay? So, ang x natin dito, guys, is ito, yung ating nasa first column. So, pag kinuha natin yung ating summation of x, so, ito total lang natin yan. So, pag na-add nyo yan, guys, that is equivalent to 810. Tama? So, pwede na natin yan gamitin doon sa ating formula. So, ang summation of x natin is 810 divided by n. So, ang n natin, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay? Since ang number of data natin is 10, that will be our denominator. So, 810 divided by 10, we have 81. So, ito ngayon yung ating mean. Okay? So, next is check natin ngayon yung formula ng ating variance. So, variance is equals to the summation of x minus mean square over n minus 1. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, uh, para ma-apply natin yung formula ng ating variance, kailangan... Uh, magawa muna natin yung x minus mean square. Okay? So, lagay tayo ng panibagong column dito sa ating table. x minus mean square. So, kukunin natin yung difference ng ating x doon sa ating mean. Then, i-square natin. Okay, example. We have 90 minus 81 yung ating mean. Then square, so 90 minus 81, that is 9. Then square, we have 81. Tama. Next, we have 73 minus 81, that is uh, negative 8. Then square, we have 64. Nakuha yung pattern, guys. Next, 78. Minus 81, yung ating mean. Then square, we have negative 3. Then square, that's positive 9. Okay? So, try natin ng ano. Hindi na natin sinusulat yung ating uh, formula. 79 minus 81, we have negative 2. Then square, that's 4. 83 minus 81, that's 2. Then square, we have 4. 95 minus 81, that is uh, 14. Then 14 square, we have 196. Okay? Then 77 minus 81, that is negative 4. Then square, that we have 16. 79 minus 81, we have negative 2. Then square, that is positive 4. Then, 74 minus 81, that is a 7. Then, square, that is 49. Then, 81 minus 81, we have 0. Then, square, that is 0. Okay? So, ngayon, after natin uh, makumpleto yung ating table, pwede na natin kunin yung ating summation of x minus mean square. So, i-add lang natin yan, guys, or ito total lang natin. Yung ating nasa last column. Then, pag pinag-plus nyo lahat yan, that is equivalent to 427. Okay? So, ngayon, uh, after nyo makuha yung ating summation of x minus mean square, pwede nyo na yan, guys, i-substitute sa ating formula. Okay? So, that is 427 over n, so ang n natin is equals to 10 minus 1. 
So, 427 over 10 minus 1, that is 9. So, pag dinivide natin to guys, this is equivalent to 47.44. Okay, so ito na ngayon yung ating magiging variance. Nasundan guys. So, next is yung ating standard deviation. So, ang formula natin for standard deviation is just the square root ng ating um, variance. Tama? So, ang variance natin dito is 47.44. So, substitute natin yan dito. That is square root of 47.44. Okay? So, taking the square root, that is equals to 6.89. So, ito na ngayon yung ating standard deviation. Nakuha guys? So, this is the end of our video. I hope naintindihan nyo guys kung paano ba natin kinuha yung ating variance, mean deviation, um, range, and standard deviation. So, if you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. So, thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!